Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. We're based in Hilton in Derbyshire and today I'd like to show you around our Autotrail Tribute S74. As we can see, it's on the Ford cab. This is 170 brake horsepower and we've got this model on an automatic gearbox. As we look around it externally, you can see that it's got the fog lights, it's got alloy wheels, here is where we connect the mains electric. Below here, you'll see the valve to release the dirty water from the onboard waste tank. The fresh water fill here, and we release it to empty the water when traveling so we're not carrying unnecessary weight. Just twist the valve and it will dump all the fresh water out. And inside here, when I unlock it, you can actually see the gas storage area. In there, you can fit two bottles and secure them safely for travelling. As we go down the motor, it's got a really useful storage space. We can access this from both sides. It goes underneath the bed as well, so we can have a closer look from the inside just to see how you can utilise that space. On the rear, it has a reversing camera and it's got the mount for the bike rack. Should you want to order one of those, we can have that fitted for you. This is the other door to the garage storage area. As you look inside there, you can see, again, a great space. The toilet cassette is in here. It slides out and it's easy to empty. It has a gas barbecue point. Here and here are your fridge vents. And it's got the awning light, as you can see there. Externally, it's got central locking, which even locks this door as well. The step is electric. It's got the bin with the dustpan and brush in the lid. And on the door, we have the fly screen. So let's have a look inside. Throughout, there are removable carpets, there are sections, so it makes cleaning the vehicle really easy. It's got the reversing camera, it's got the sat-nav, all in the big LCD screen. It's got cruise control, cab aircon, and all the steering wheel controls there that you require. The big panoramic light. Roof light, sorry, makes it all really open and spacious, so when you're in here, it does feel very light. Each window has got a fly screen and a blind, um, and it's got the decorative curtains as well. Belted seats, so you can take the driver and three passengers. This area comes out, so you can obviously have the leg space of which you expect. Above my head, I will show you this in a little moment or two, we've got a drop down bed. It's an electric drop down bed. So the kitchen area is well equipped. We've got the sink, three gas rings, and a little combi grill stroke oven. Good storage. Pan storage beneath there. And then we've got the gas isolation taps. A fridge with a freezer compartment and above here I've got to say I think these must be the easiest use controls for your heating and your hot water couldn't be clearer than that <laughs> above your head we've got the omni van and as we possibly know that will take air out and bring air in so as we come down this end of the motorhome we've got the island bed this door we can close off to make a separate room and it locks in place like so. We have the toilet, the vanity sink, it's a fresh water flush so that will come from your onboard water tank and there's a ventilation skylight above. To this side we've got the shower, again it's a good sized shower. We've got reading lights above the bed, each have got a wardrobe and we've got the nice LED mood lighting all the way around. As we said when we were looking at the outside of the vehicle, we can access storage 
for that great area here as well. As you look under there, the space is vast. Beneath there we've stored the ladders, the ladders you'll require for the drop down bed. This bed pulls out as well, so if you're thinking it looks a little bit short, it does pull out to make it a full length. As we come down the motor home, we have the on off key for the bed. We just remove, no, we don't remove the headrest. Thought we did, but we don't. The bed slides down, like so. As you can see, there's your double bed. It doesn't feel claustrophobic because you've got the benefits of the window there as well. So you've got extra ventilation to put the bed away. We just press the button. The bed goes away nice and easily. And there's safety straps there as well. So if you'd like to come and have a closer look at the F74, why not pop over to see us all the sales team will display the bed for you, make up the bed at the front as well, just so that you can see how practical and easy use it is.